Hey guys, Bing here. Um, today uh, I'm going to show you a very simple uh, cavity sliding door family. So let's start. So first create a new door and create some uh, reference plans. So one, two, three. So dimension equal and the dimension so this will be the uh, width of the cavity create a parameter called cavity width and then dimension this one so this will be the cavity the depth of the cavity and I'm going to use the same of the width so just to select the dimension pick this one so now Click uh, move your cursor around here. So that's the opening cut. I'm going to delete it and create a void extrusion. So use pick line with the lock. Pick one, two, three, four, five, and the tab, 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 tab. So now trim. So I'll just turn the TL on so it's easier for you to see. Trim. So we need another one here. So pick and trim. So now we have the void. Go to elevation. Drag this up to reference plan and lock. And lock. So in 3D view, cut wall void TL. So you can see that's a void there. Okay, so now let's go to floor plan. So we need a door panel. So I'll create a new family. I'll start with generic model and then change the category to door. So now create create some reference plans. DI. So e, e, DI. EQ DI. So this will be the width. This will be the thickness. And go to front RP DI. So this will be the height. And then go to floor plan, create a extrusion and the lock. And go to front view, drag this up, lock and the lock. So and click on the door uh, this panel in on the Subcategory you can change to maybe panel and then you can also create materials, but I'll just skip this So now the door panel is done finished. So just load this into the door family I'll place it here and AL align lock AL lock align and lock so click on the door panel or actually go to elevation I, I like to lock everything to so move up a little bit so it's easier to pick a line lock so also we don't need this uh, let me do it so click on the panel edit type so thickness link to thickness width link to width and height so yeah it's okay and now we need to change the thickness. So, yep. Um, let me go to. Oh, we uh, actually we want to control the um, cavity width. So go to the family, uh, family types, and the the cavity width equals thickness plus 20 so 
there will be 10 mil on each side of the door panel. So when you change your soil, the cavity uh, changes as well. Um, what else? So actually in the floor plan, we don't want to see this. We don't want to see this panel. We want to see something here. So what we can do is click on this door panel. Uh, edit. Uncheck this. And OK. So if, if you turn the preview on, so you see in the floor plan, you won't see this panel. But in 3D view, you will. In, and in elevation, you will see. Um, so let me turn this off. So, but we need something here that only shows in in floor plan. So, what we can do is we go edit. We can, let's just go use this panel family. Edit panel family, um, and I'll delete this panel. Instead, I'll create symbolic line. And I'll use panel cut lock and uh, I'll load this for helm. I'll save as a different name, otherwise, we'll overwrite. So I just call it door symbolic CS CSY and eyes. Eyes. Save and load. So, and then I'll paste here. Now I need a reference plan here. So just roughly, uh, maybe one hundred. You can create a reference if you like, or a parameter if you like. But I'll just use one hundred and then align, lock, align lock so this door and uh, and also i need to click on this one edit type and link this so it will match the door panel size with and okay and uh, now we need to uh, make uh, let's turn the uh, preview on so we probably need a some like arrow. So just use symbolic line, maybe um plan swing, draw a little arrow here. Yep, something like this. Now just copy this because we need it in here. Oh, I can't paste. Anyway, um, just we need, need another one. So this, this one I'll just use uh, elevation swing and uh, roughly here. So you can also um, dimension it and with the uh, equal. So when you change the height, it's always in the middle. Um, why that's two? Oh, I paste. It's, it's okay. Delete this one. <coughs> so let's. It's. It's. I think it's. It's. It's finished. So we just need to have a test in the project. So load this into the project. Draw a wall. Create a door. So this is a door we just create. So let's see if it works. Edit type with 900. The arrow, yeah, you might need to do some put some dimension on that to lock, but uh, I'm not going to show it today. Uh, um, what else? 35. Yep, yeah, so the cavity follows the panel. You can see, yep. And the height. 
400. Yeah, good. So if we go to the elevation, so so that's arrow here. Um, seven. Yeah, good. Yeah, you can same. You you can just some uh, uh dimension to constrain the arrow to make sure it's in the middle. But uh, I'll leave it to you. So that's it. That's it for today. Um, tomorrow we will have a little bit more. Uh, we have another sliding door tomorrow. Tomorrow. So I'll see you tomorrow.